I've been dominating SmackDown Live for over two years. And then you show up and get a chance to be the number one contender for the United States title on your first night here? There shouldn't even be a battle royal. I'm a former United States champion, and I should be the number one contender. <laughs> Whatever. The way I see it, another guy named Baron almost destroyed your career before. And tonight, I'm gonna finish what he started. Coming up is a form of combat that personifies the concept of every man for himself. All eyes are going to be watching. That music can mean only one thing, it's Buzz! Making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 320 pounds, the prototype, Jose Carlos Mercer! Earlier today, I noticed Buzz backstage checking out some vintage Bret Hart matches on the WWE Network. He's apparently a big admirer of the Hitman. Oh, Buzz has good taste because when it comes to in-ring ability, there weren't too many better than the excellence of execution. things I've come to learn about Baron Corbin. He doesn't like people, and he loves to cause chaos. Some of the best observations you've ever made, Byron Saxton. Thanks, Corey. And from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds, Baron Corbin! A perfect hybrid athlete, size, speed, strength, and skill. Baron Corbin, one of the most dominant forces to attack a WWE ring in recent memory. Accomplished so much in his young career. Won the Money in the Bank ladder match. Former Golden Gloves boxing champion, NFL offensive lineman, turned champion in WWE. Xavier with Francesca number 88. Oh man, I would love to have my own Francesca. Xavier Woods, I think the most underrated member of New Day. He's an incredibly talented superstar. 
deceptively powerful, lightning quick, and very, very tough from Bella Bella. And this, don't discount his intelligence either. Earning his PhD in educational psychology, maybe in addition to two bachelor's degrees in psychology and philosophy. Well, maybe you should have graduated. Pretty incredible what this man has accomplished in his career. Jinder Mahal has worked for everything that he has, but now everything that he has is the best in the world. First class all the way. Airplanes, limousines. That newly found lifestyle, Corey, a direct result of the changes Jinder Mahal underwent from changing his body to reshaping his mind, his confidence, his outlook on life. Try this out with me, Byron. Take a deep breath. Shanti. Uh, Shanti. 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 I don't think... It's time for a perfect 10! Come on, Corey, put your hands up. No. 10, 10, 10, 10. And from Niagara Falls, Canada, weighing in at 225 pounds, the perfect 10, Ty Dillinger. Dillinger is far from flawless. The guy's got more flaws than counterfeit jewelry. Listen, Corey, just let me break it down for you, okay? Ty doesn't believe he's literally perfect, but it gives him something to strive for. Every time you wake up, you want to be a little better than you were yesterday. That, that's what the perfect 10 is all about. The guy's a sociopath. All he cares about is himself. All he's worried about is Ty Dillinger and... Day. And from Bulgaria, weighing in at 304 pounds, Rusev. The Lion of Bulgaria fighting for all of his constituents. Rusev Day is a real-life phenomenon, taking the world by storm. It really is a holiday, Byron. It pops up on my calendar on my phone. Okay, so uh, no matter how you feel about this made-up holiday, what it has done is uh, provide virtual jet fuel for the confidence of Rusev, who is more driven than we've ever seen him. Mojo's here, and he's all business. And from Alexandria, Virginia, weighing in at 265 pounds, Mojo Crowley. No more of that getting hype stuff. Once upon a time, Mojo enjoyed the distinct honor of being my least favorite superstar on the NXT roster. My, how times have changed with Mojo's attitude. Listen, honestly, I, I miss the guy who was hyped, who had a good time, but you can't ignore the fact that the more aggressive Mojo has had more success. Byron, he's...
Here comes the worst internet champion ever, Zack Ryder. And their opponent from Long Island, New York, weighing in at 224 pounds, Zack Ryder. He's a broski, like, like the three of us. No, Byron, I am not a broski. I have nowhere near the penchant for fake tanner and spiked hair as Zack Ryder does. Don't take away what Zack Ryder's accomplished here, a former United States champion, former tag team champion. He was even champion of the internet. He made that up. On his first night here on SmackDown Live, Buzz has an opportunity to become number one contender for the United States Championship. How? How did he qualify for this match? He literally just walked in the door. You'd have to take that up with Daniel Bryan, Corey. Look, I know he got signed to SmackDown Live using somewhat questionable methods, but I'm willing to give him a chance. Let's see what he can do. Oh, what impact. Not where he wants to be right now. Hey, he got himself into this mess. He's got to get himself out of it now. This is not the place where you want to underestimate your competition. Absolutely not. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. You've got to believe this one's over. Nailed it. Shoulder right to the midsection. Big punch finds its mark. Tackles ruthless. Ooh. What a strike. Rusev stumbling a bit here. It appears his opponent has his number right now. Hey, while he might not want to hear it now, sometimes there are positives you can take from a beating like this. And that's how a superstar... Bam! Ooh, on the mark. He might have just ended this. Oh, Buzz just barely got out of the way. You're looking at the new number one contender for the United States Championship. What a debut on SmackDown Live. He didn't even pin anyone. It was a battle royal. He didn't have to. Apparently, the U.S. champion wants to get a closer look at his opponent. It appears Bobby Roode isn't too impressed 
with Buzz either. That's because he watched the same exact match I did. Buzz isn't going to win the U.S. title by throwing Bobby Roode over the top rope.